it's Mama Beth. I'm finally making my first video and I spent a lot of time thinking about where I wanted to film, what I wanted to do, and I decided that my happiest place is in my kitchen. So this is where I hang out and I do my happiest things, making food, feeding people, feeding my family. Right now I'm making sauce and I'm canning it. What you hear is the dishwasher going. I'm sterilizing the mason jars. I'm gonna can it up and send it to her uh, to her new home in Maryland. My daughter just got a fantastic new job and I'm really proud of her. And um, I want her to have some goodies from home to put on her table so she knows that mama's there with her and how proud I am of her. But the subject of this uh, video is a little a little more serious and I want to talk to everyone listening about uh, self-esteem and the people you surround yourself with. There are a lot of people in this world uh, who will come into your life for you know a day, a week, a season, a lifetime and some of those people are there to bring you up and give you positive reinforcement, to give you energy, to give you life. To support you you know in everything that you do to educate you to help you learn and then there are people that help you learn but they help you learn in the opposite way they may hurt you they may treat you badly they may scam you they may take your money they may steal from you you know um my father-in-law my passed away my from my first husband my daughter's deceased late grandfather he used to say that uh, never cry when somebody doesn't pay you back a loan it just costs you that much money to find out they're a thief well that's true in a lot of ways if you loan somebody a hundred dollars or you give somebody a hundred dollars with the expectation that they're going to give it back to you and they don't it cost you a hundred dollars to find out they're a thief and you learned you learned a hard lesson uh, it's a hundred dollar lesson but you learned it and now you don't have to learn it again that's the important thing don't learn the same lesson twice or three times or four times but you need to surround yourself with people you know when you go through life and you start picking up friends and you pick up acquaintances and you know you bring people into your life and the jobs that you choose and the employees that you become friends with and your neighbors that you associate with and the people that you hang out with online even um, when you see positive people who are good to you and who treat you well and they treat others well and they have good moral character and and I'm not talking about uh, I'm not judging anybody for how many boyfriends or men they slept with their girls they slept with and all that I'm talking about morals like they're honest they're decent they uh, don't stab people in the back they don't con people with GoFundMe accounts they don't they don't do crap like that and when you when you find good honest people People. because those are what I call the jewelers of life see everybody this is this is my own theory and you can these are my words of wisdom you'll see me use hashtag words of wisdom a lot of time on Twitter well this is mama best words of wisdom everybody is a gem some people are diamonds some people are sapphires some people are pearls some people are rubies but we're all valuable and we're all precious and don't think one gemstone is less than another. There are sapphires that are out there that are worth more than diamonds. Okay? There are pearls, natural pearls that are worth more than diamonds. So, we're all precious gems. There, You are a precious gem. Now, are the people in your lives jewelers? Do they recognize that you're a gem? Do they see your sparkle? Do they know how to handle you and what setting you need to be put in so you can shine the best? Ask yourself that. Because if they're not, then you need to find another jeweler. The spouse, the person that loves you, the person that you live with and your best friend, your tightest associate, the person who loves you the most, be it your husband, wife, spouse, boyfriend, girlfriend, your best friend. All these people are jewelers in your life and you are the gem. Just like they are gems and you are their jeweler, okay? We are responsible for being their setting and they are responsible for being ours. That's how friendship works. 
That's how good friendship works. Now, say, for example, you aren't being treated well. You're being ignored. You're not being paid any attention. You're, say your boyfriend, you text him and he doesn't answer for hours and hours on end. You don't see him for days. You know, and when you do text him, it's always an argument. Is he being the jeweler in your life? Is he good enough to recognize your shine and give you the setting you need? Or do you need to find another jeweler? Not everybody is right for every setting. Not every gym is right for every setting, okay? There are some people that are not meant to be with other people, okay? I have an ex-husband, and I'll tell you right now, my, well, I've got, well, I've first husband divorced, second husband died. Anyway, first husband, he had no clue how to treat me. He was not a good husband to me. And anybody that knows our situation will tell you that. He was not a good jeweler to my gemstone. And I got frustrated and after trying to work through it and trying to work through it, I said, you know what? I need to find somebody who will treat me better, who will be a better jeweler to my gemstone and who will let me be a jeweler to their gemstone. And so we divorced. Now his second wife, who is a lovely person, he matched up with her perfectly. He was the right setting for her. I don't know whether, I'd like to say I could take credit for training him and teaching him what not to do in a marriage. But anyway, he treats her a lot differently than he did me. And maybe he learned, you know, maybe she was just a different person. Maybe, and we have a lot, we have a lot in common actually, but we do have some things that are different about us, of course. No two people are alike. But he and she have been together over 20 years. So apparently he was the right jeweler for her gemstone and she's the right jeweler for his. So what I want you to look at is the relationships in your life and be proactive. That's one of the things that I'm gonna keep harping on and you're gonna hear a lot. Be proactive in finding your jeweler and finding out what kind of gemstone you are and what kind of treatment you need and what kind of setting you need. Do you need to be polished? Do you need lots of polishing? Do you need extra prongs in your setting? Do you need a fancy setting? Do you need a simple setting? What is it that you need your jeweler to give you? And is the person that you're with who is supposed to be your jeweler and taking care of you, are they recognizing your shine? And do you recognize your shine? Because if they're not, you go find you another jeweler because you're precious. And that's all I got to say on that. And those are my words of wisdom. And you can follow me on Twitter at the Beth Horn, and that's H-O-R-N-E. But you can follow me on there and you can always follow me on here. And look for me on you now and guesting with all of my friends. I love you and you love yourself. Have a good night. I'm going back to my sauce. Bye-bye.